Okay, so this is the after of my junk drawer in my kitchen. It's not really junky anymore, um, but basically I had a couple containers like I thought I did that I could reuse from other projects. Um, these two are actually little stacking bins that I had. I used to use them in my Lazy Susan. They came from the container store. And I used those there just because the drawer goes a little, quite a bit, well, not quite a bit, a little bit deeper. And, you know, I didn't want to have to be reaching behind things. So these are really nice because they're deep. And so I can access what's in there without actually having to, you know, dig in the back of the drawer. So I've got refrigerator magnets here and just some gum. And then back there are chip clips, which I need to get some more. These are from Ikea and I really like these. So those are in there. And then baby wipes, even though, you know, my kids don't really use baby wipes that much anymore. It's still nice to have in the kitchen if somebody gets a messy face or quick cleanups, things like that. Uh, scissors, um, combs, and brushes. And I need to get some ponytail holders to put in there because a lot of mornings before school, I forget my daughter, I forget to bring down her comb uh, to fix her hair. For some reason, I fix it down here. I don't know why I don't fix it upstairs. So these are in here for that. Uh, our lint roller and our candle lighter. Just some little scissors I got at Staples, I think for a dollar. They're regularly seven dollars, so I was pretty excited about that. Uh, this little bowl here um, has box tops in it because I do save those for my daughter's school, and I used to keep them in, in my office, but they were always all over the desk, and so this way, since I cut them in the kitchen, it just makes sense to keep them in the kitchen until it gets full and then turn it into her school so she can earn credit for that. And then in these two clear bins, these came from the container store, and I really like these because they have little rubber feet on them. Whoops. Little rubber feet that keep them from sliding around. And those fit perfectly right there. So I've got the spray sunscreen, the stick sunscreen, uh, lip gloss sunscreen, and then their little fans, which these work really good. We got these when we went to Disney World this summer. And I thought about putting them in my suitcase and saving them for next vacation. And then I realized that we could use it other times too, like, you know, at the park or on a picnic. So those are nice. They are the O2 Cool brand. They came from Bed Bath uh, & Beyond. I think they were like $7 a piece for those. And then my husband's stuff um, up here in the front, his wallet, his keys. I think there's a flashlight in there. Oh, well, there used to be. He must have moved it. Um, and then his glasses cleaning cloths. So it was a really simple, quick project like I thought it would be. And it's something nice that obviously, if you watch the first video, needed to be done very badly. But it's one of those goofy things that you just never do, even though it's so simple. You kind of just keep putting it off. It really took maybe an hour at most. Um, and that was basically rounding up all the bins that I had and figuring out how I wanted to lay it out. The only thing I moved that used to be in here was the Reynolds wrap and sometimes I would keep baggies in here. I think I was out of them the last time when I did the before video. I just moved them in here to my silverware drawer. Um, it made sense to me. I wanted the Reynolds wrap to be with the baggies and then I also put the wet wipes in here instead of um, the other drawer just because when I'm packing my daughter's lunch I want her to have one of these in her lunch bag and so it makes sense if I'm going to be getting a baggie anyway I can just get her a wet wipe while I'm at it. But that's it. Quick, simple little project. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, please subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.